fucking sun is sunning today. It is perfect. Welcome to today's vlog. I'm so excited. It is currently 6.30. What are we doing? Why are we vlogging? Well, I'm glad you asked. If you've been following me on Instagram or TikTok, you'll know that. Why am I using this like a little wand? If you've been following me on Instagram or TikTok, you would have seen I've started this little series of ticking things off my summer bucket list. So I have a little list on my phone, and slowly between like it was like Labor Weekend and the end of summer, which I'm probably gonna cap it at like the end of February, which is actually the end of summer. But if I've got some stragglers, we might just carry it over into March to see how we're going. This morning, we are off to tick another thing off my summer bucket list. So Tasia was coming over. I think Tay is gonna come with us. We're gonna pick up Morgan on the way and we are going to the Matakana markets. I'm so excited! The last time that I went to the Matakana markets, I was very little. It would be over, like over, well over 10 years ago. But it is a little bit of a hike from uh, South Auckland up there, so it's gonna take us like a good hour and a half to get there. So we're gonna drive up, browse around for like a couple hours and then just come back home again. And then I also have some other exciting things planned for this afternoon. This is just gonna be such a good day! I have, yeah, like an hour and a half until we need to leave. So an hour and a half basically till Tadel's gonna be here and maybe Taya. Still don't know if she's coming. And then we will um, head off, but I need to do a little bit of quiet time and then get myself ready. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Outfit of the day is secured. I'm gonna put my black Princess Polly sandals on my feet. The postie also just came before and bought me the most gorgeous package. I did know this was on the way, but it is a PR package and it is from Youthline. And initially when they were like, hey, we wanna send you some stuff, I was like, I feel bad because like it is a charity. They release some like, mer it's not Christmas merchandise, it's just merchandise they release at Christmas and the hope people will buy it for their friends and Fano for Christmas. And it is so gorgeous. This is the top. Oh, it's that's weird, the sun like shows through. Anyway, it's got a little youth line thing on the front and in the back, it says check on your mates. The apparel is AS color, which if you have been around since the EGS apparel days. I used to use AS Color as my supply for that as well. And this stuff is such high quality. They also have a little tote bag, which I'm actually gonna take this to the market today to put my market buys in. Hey guys. Hello. We're just uh, <laughs> waiting for Morgan. Surprise, surprise. Has she seen your text? It's typing. Oh, okay, cool. Which means that she's not putting on her shoes because she can't do both at the same time. All of Auckland's uh, best drivers are out in force today. So it's gonna be a, <laughs> such a fun drive. Oh. Oh, no, it's not even Morgan. Oh. I'm worried and it's not even Morgan. I'm coming now. No, it's fine. Just hurry up. How are ya? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Oh, hello. We're vlogging today. Hey. I thought you would be and that's why I took longer because I was like, I need to make my hair look. Oh, actually, you can't put this in. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that either. Yay, we've arrived and now we have to hike to the market, but I'm gonna switch to phone footage now because I'm actually vlogging for a reel for Instagram and like TikTok. So, phone content for a second and then we'll be back to regular programming. Market and we're trying to film our weird girls TikTok behind the scenes. The this is total. <laughs> anyway, we've made the executive decision that we're gonna buy, not bypass. We're gonna take a little tiki tour to Omaha while we were up while we we're up here because we ain't gonna be making this trip again anytime soon. So we're gonna scoot up to Omaha, have a look at the beach. And then we're <laughs> gonna go oh, home. You're right. <laughs> oh my. Time to oh, drop yes. Morgie home. Morgie's putting her socks on. <laughs> her dogs. I don't know if I was saying something about it in this vlog or a previous one, but anyway, I got a haircut. I mean, my hair coloured more blonde on Wednesday. I haven't done since March, so it's growing out to like here <laughs> in that time. I never don't style my hair, I'm all, I've always got straight or curled. And right now this is just like natural. I'm going to put a straightener through it and see what it looks like. This is kind of the same length that I had last summer and it was so nice. Dried so quickly when I went for swims, maintainable, healthy. 
And honestly, I just think I personally, you may have a different opinion, but I personally think that I just suit short hair. I was looking at photos the other day and I was like, no, short hair is just more me. I need to give you guys a market rundown. It was so cute. We did like a lap to browse everything and I ended up buying a pistachio brioche. A loaf of bread from like the same place. I bought some jam, like plum and vanilla jam. Um, I bought a present for Christmas for my Nana, which I can't say what that is because Nana will be watching this. So hi Nana. And what else did I buy? Oh, Taya and I went halves on a chocolate caramel walnut brownie. It was so good. I knew I had to be home for my haircut. And so we were kind of like in a bit of a rush and we were like trying to like hustle and bustle to get back to the car but also like trying to enjoy our time i was like you know what we're, we've come with we've literally driven like two hours to get here we may as well go check out omaha while we're here so we hopped in the car and drove over to omaha we're gonna put our feet in the water ate our brownies at the beach drove around looked at the fancy houses and then came home dropping morgan off on the way we've been planning to do this market trip for like honestly like more than six months and trying to find a time that works for all of us when the weather wasn't too bad kind of planned this like a couple weeks ago it was just like perfect bluebird day but i'm very tired it's ended up being like four hours of driving like i should have seen that coming like the traffic in auckland on a saturday around christmas diabolical i bought the bread at the market to bring home and have for lunch with everyone but when i got here Literally everyone was here. They'd already had lunch because I didn't get home till like after two o'clock. And so I made myself a sandwich, an avocado marmite sandwich with the bread and it was so tasty. And there's like still like three quarters of a loaf left. But I'm not going anywhere else tonight. I'm just going to cook some dinner, which I'll cook with you guys. And I have a video to edit as well. Mum, I showed in my hair. What do you think? It's good. It's nice, eh? Hmm. Influenced by... Steph Claire Smith. Nah, not really. If I was influenced by her, I would have gone way shorter than this. Alrighty, it is dinner time and I've just realized I'm probably gonna regret doing this in a white shirt. I am the designated chef of the night. So in true Emma fashion, we will be having HelloFresh. We have Asian pork and peanut alarm. It's got little red little dots. Let's get that out of the fridge. Got it. It says it's gonna take me 30 to 40 minutes to do everything from start to finish. Also, Full transparency, thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. You guys know I love HelloFresh. We had it like our whole second year of planning and it was such a lifesaver. Especially being a student, like I know a lot of you guys that follow me are in that sort of phase of life at the moment where you are a student. We cooked as a flat and it just took like the thought out of meal planning and it was delivered to your door which meant that we didn't have to like take turns going to the supermarket. It just made life so easy. Anyway, since this is, thank you so much HelloFresh, I also have a discount code for you guys, so Merry Christmas. It is a very festive discount code, and I would love to say that I came up with this myself, but they actually gave this to me, so thank you to HelloFresh. Um, I'll put it on the screen here, it is Emma Slave, up to $175. To make the most of that, I'll leave a link down below so you can click on it, it'll take you straight to their website. Also, since it is the festive season, they have like limited edition festive fave meals. I didn't get any this week, but my box that arrives literally tomorrow has some festive faves in it, which I'm very excited about. Also through the Christmas season, when you place your orders, like normally anytime when you place your orders, you can add like brunches, appetizers, desserts to your order. Since it is the Christmas season, they have Christmas themed desserts, brunches and appetizers. So it's the rice and then I prep the veggies, make the sauce, Cook the pork and the veggies, put it all together, and then serve it up. And it has pictures too, which makes life just that much easier. I say this literally every time I cook something and film it, and my friends give me so much stick for it, but I wish that you could smell this right now. I'm so excited to try this. Another thing about HelloFresh as well is that it allows you to try things you wouldn't normally try or gravitate towards. Like when I'm not having HelloFresh, I literally live off salmon bowls and chicken wraps. Like I don't really push the boat out. Whereas this, and when you go into the app like each week, there's like more than 30 recipes to choose from. And if there's ones that you particularly like, they often like repeat recipes every now and again, or they repeat the same recipe with a twist. I feel like dinners can either be a plate dinner or a bowl dinner. This is for sure a bowl dinner, and personal opinion, I think things just taste better in a bowl. I think you can eat dinner with just a fork, it just makes it taste so much better. It is also just mum and I for dinner tonight, but this dinner is meant to serve four, which means that my lunch tomorrow is looking pretty good if I do so, so myself. That did not take me 40 minutes to make. Like, I reckon that was like 25 minutes tops. We have the rice. I really haven't presented it very nicely. This can be my one, I'll make mum's one look better. Some peanuts to pop on top. Yeah, do a little... 
do a little taste test. Lord bless this food into our bodies and I pray that it tastes delicious. Amen. Oh, hot. Mm. Just quietly, I'd pay good money for this at a restaurant. Anyway, I'm gonna go and enjoy this. And if you wanna try HelloFresh for yourself, I'll pop my link. My link? No. My code on the screen. Emma Slay, up to $175 off. Merry Christmas from me to you. Enjoy it. Keeping it real for a second. Today is injection day. If you're new around here, I inject myself once a month for my psoriasis, which as you can see, clearly it's working a treat. Like I've been doing this for like three and a half years now. These are kind of like an EpiPen. They're like preloaded. So you just twist the top off and then psych yourself up and then do it. And it takes like 10 seconds to go in. All done. It is quarter to eight and I am loving the weather today. It is just phenomenal. It's meant to be packing up tomorrow so I'm just making the most of this. I am parked up on the couch editing the video which is coming up before this one. So I've actually been, today's Saturday, I've been vlogging Monday to Friday which should be the video before this one. So if you haven't seen that, Feel free to go back and watch it. I'm actually loving it so far. The video is currently 26 minutes long and I still have another like 50 minutes of footage to go through. But I want to get this edited tonight so that I can focus on editing what you guys are watching right now tomorrow. My editing is going well. It's quarter past nine. I've done the first like cut and it was like 31 minutes long which is a little too long for a YouTube video in my opinion. But I'm making myself a snack to keep me going. The loaf of bread that I bought today at the market. And I'm literally just having it with butter on it. But it was very tasty. I would love to get like a confident first cut before I go to bed. And then tomorrow I can watch it through with fresh eyes and then export it and I'll upload it when I'm at the work office on Monday so I don't have to use my own Wi-Fi. <laughs> my camera just made a really odd uh, sound when it turned on which doesn't fill me with a hope of confidence. But anyway, it is 10.37 p.m. and I need to go to bed. I am fading so fast, I'm like trying to edit it and my eyes are like shutting and I was like, this is not very productive. But I managed to get through the second round of edit. We're down to 25 minutes, down from like 31, 32 minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made this far in the video, comment your favorite pastry. Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Oh my gosh, there's an eyelash in my eyeball. That was so good. Oh, yep, that's happened.